starting a new project for Cosplay. Plate. <clears throat> we'll be working on a human version of My, Neighbor, My Neighbor's Totoro. And we're going to be doing the Totoro. So for our first part of this, we're going to be working on a clay acorn. Because in the movie, the uh, Totoro and his friends were throwing around acorns. So for this, you're going to be needing... Uh, your eye pins, a uh, clasp, and some of your um, hoop rings, clasp, yeah, um, some chain that you think that will go in the color of your necklace. You're going to need a pan for cooking in. You're going to either need light brown or, seeing as I couldn't find light brown, I found gold clay. Um, gold paint, brown paint, and some stained gloss, uh, any size paint brush, and then your, uh, clay tools. Okay, and you're going to need an oven because we're going to be baking our clay. So you're going Let's to follow the directions on your packaging. I got mine at Michael's, the Craft Smart. So it says bake at 275, so that's where we're going to set our oven at. And depending on the thickness, um, so for each 15 minutes per 1 fourth inch of clay, that's how long we're going to time our clay for. So let's open this and set our oven to 275. So what I did was is I cut one section off from the clay. It gives you about this much. If you want it to go bigger, you can, but I think I want this size of an acorn. So we're going to take our tool and we're going to not go in the center, but part way up towards the top and we're just going to section it off like this. So this is what our acorn will look like after you section it off. You're going to make it more pointy shape and then cone shape. And now we're going to make our top up of here. So we're just going to make our lines like so. Clay should look something like this. Now we're going to put this in the oven and we're going to bake it at... in through your acorn and then you're going to take this out and you're going to bake it. Bake your clay according to whatever, which one you buy, the directions. So, like mine was 15, but I did it for 20 because it was a little thicker. But, like I said, it'll be different from yours. Alright. Then you're going to pull it out of your oven and so let it cool. after it's cooled, you're either going to put it on something that you can hold. And we're going to paint this bottom half brown and let that dry. And then I'll show you what's next. So you're going to shake your paint just to get enough on the lid like this you're going to dip your paintbrush in and just start painting away like this try not to get the top of your acorn because that part will remain gold Now we're going to take our gold paint and we're going to put a thin layer of our brown after it dries. So just a very thin layer. We're going to give it a dusting of gold. Alright? Now it looks like something like this with a gold hue to it. So it makes it look a little bit lighter. And now we're going to take our Sculpty Glaze and we're going to seal all this paint in and you're going to paint the top of your acorn as well. So after you use your Sculpty Gloss or Satin Gloss or whatever, you're going to follow the directions on it. So mine says I need to let this dry for a half an hour before each coat. So technically you should allow 24 hours, but 
are going with half an hour. So, so now we're going to decorate this. So we're going to take our pin or whatever one you chose. You're going to stick a bead on if you want. This is totally optional. So you're going to stick your bead in. Then your main acorn charm or pendant or whatever you want this to be. And then take either the same kind of bead and put it on top. Like so. I forgot to mention in the beginning of the tutorial that we're going to need pliers because we're going to have to be bending this to make a loop. And we're also going to be attaching the um, the rings on so that it, it'll stay on. So now with our pliers, you're going to take your flat nose pliers and hold it right at the end here. And you're just going to bend it over like so. And you're going to take your round nose pliers and you're just going to twirl it up like this. And then, depending on what kind of loop size you want, you're just going to have to uh, hone it in like that. So there you have your loop. And now we're going to make the necklace part of this. You're going to take your chain and you're going to put it around your neck and then you're going to measure how long you want it. Mine goes about to where the heart is. Um, so, this is probably a chain of, uh... So you're going to open your jump ring by taking one plier and your other plier and pulling it open. And you're going to hook on your clasp. And then you're going to go to one end of your necklace. And you're going to take the end and you're going to put it on. By looping so you're it just on. Gonna open your jump ring like this, and now you first you're gonna slide your uh, pendant onto your chain, and you're gonna put this on. Hands will be need to be a little slutty, I mean steady. That's what I was saying, but it sounded weird. So you're just gonna try to hook it on. There you have it, our done acorn necklace with a chain and a pendant. You have a loop at the end if you want to add like more, say like more chain or any more beads or something at the end if you want, or you can leave it the way it is. And I hope you guys will join me again for the next part of our uh, My Neighbor's Totoro, Totoro cosplay. And this is the first step in making that process. So, I will see you guys later.